And then there's dreaming. We don't know, it's a complete mystery. What we do know is the patterns that show up in your brain when you dream. We know that the brain dedicates specific time to REM sleep, in which you are basically doing nothing but dreaming. We even know how certain brain patterns relate to certain places or types of events in dreams. And yet the one thing we want to know, and yet still don't have an answer to, is... Why? We still don't know why the activation of certain bits of your brain during REM sleep trigger you to just start randomly hallucinating. Carl Jung thought that dreams were a literal form of communication sent to the conscious brain from the unconscious brain. This would help regulate your emotions and or provide an early warning system for some encounter you might face later on. Such as people with gum disease previously dreaming of all of their teeth falling out, for example. That's a- that's a real thing, by the way, so remember to brush your teeth. Sigmund Freud thought that dreams were a map to the unconscious desires of the brain, and wish fulfillment for things that you couldn't do in the real world. But really, both Jung and Freud were both kind of just throwing stuff at the wall, because their theories persist today, mostly on an anecdotal basis. What was this video about again? Oh yeah, uh, go to bed.